The two most popular use cases for the Inksoft designer are clients uploading their own artwork or editing stock design templates, creating a mock-up, getting a quote, and checking out. If you really want to step up your game, you can leverage the Inksoft designer to create a custom store exclusive to a client and populate it with templates that are specific to that customer. The customer can select a template and you can limit which portions of the template can be edited. So in this particular template, we're enabling them to edit just the portion that is the sport. We're still giving the customer the option of changing or adding colors and also selecting new products. This gives the customer a self-service experience where they can modify designs that you created exclusive for them, get a quote, and check out. I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up custom templates. So where does the artwork come from? You can create the design layout in any graphics program, or you can create it directly in the Inksoft Designer. Vector artwork would be preferred because this will give the customer the ability to easily recolor the design, as well as provide scalability so if the design is sized up or down, it won't lose any image quality. If you've enabled your Inksoft designer in your main store, you can log in as an admin, select the designer, choose any design template, localize it, and then save it. Once you've saved the design, it will be visible under Art in your admin portal. You can also select Design Ideas, Manage, and search by Admin Created to view any designs that you've created. You can also create designs in popular vector graphics programs like Adobe Illustrator, Corel Draw. Affinity Designer, or Inkscape. The easiest way to create vector graphics is to use GraphicsFlow, part of the Inktavo family of brands. GraphicsFlow includes over 7,000 interactive design templates. They can easily be edited in the stock art customizer. Simply select a template, select Customize, and localize the graphic. You can change the text as well as the fonts and easily recolor the design to a new color scheme. Any text you want to be able to edit in the Inksoft Designer will need to be recreated in the Inksoft Designer. In this case, I want to be able to edit this line, Madison Hockey, so I'm going to click on the Edit button. I'm going to notate the font because the fonts in the Inksoft Designer match the fonts in GraphicsFlow. I'm then going to mute this line of text and save it as a PDF file. I'll save the art to the My Art section in GraphicsFlow. I'm going to select the folder for East Eagles. I'll name the file and then click on Save. Next, I'll download a PDF version of the file. You can create the template in any instance of the Inksoft Designer. Just make sure you're signed in as an admin, and if you're going to create a signed product, such as a banner, you'll want to select a signed product. I'm going to select a t-shirt. I'll click on Design Now to begin the process. I'm going to select Full Front as the imprint location for this particular design. I'm then going to upload the PDF file that I created in GraphicsFlow or any other vector graphics program. I can also use an SVG file. I'm going to select Upload Image. I'm going to navigate to the folder where the PDF file is located. Select the file and click on Open. Once the vector file comes in, I'm going to arrange it on my product. You notice the colors from the vector file are now displayed under Colors in Use. The next step would be replacing the text that I'd like the client to be able to edit. I'm going to click on Add Text, and I'm going to insert placeholder text. I'm then going to select the corresponding font from GraphicsFlow. This font happens to be under Classic, and is named FTY Galactic Vanguardian. Once I've selected the new text, I'm going to reposition it on the template, resize it, and in this case, I'm going to add an effect, which is going to be a slant. I'll click on Add Text Shape, and I'll scroll down to the slant, and then I'll recolor the text as the same color that I'm using in the template, in this case, navy. Once I'm done setting up the template, I'm going to click on Save Design. I'll name the design, and then click on Save Design. One thing important to note, if you want to be able to change the colors in the design, the product for that store must be set up with screen print as one of the imprint processes. So I went to Manage Products. I'm going to select the East Eagles Booster Store, hit Apply, and then I'm going to select this product here. And I'm going to scroll down, and you notice Screen Print is selected. If Screen Print is not selected, I won't be able to change the colors in the design. Next, I can create an exclusive design category just for that store. So I'm going to go to Art. I'm going to go to Design Ideas, I'm going to select Categories, and then I'm going to select my store from the drop-down list. 
You'll notice I already have two exclusive categories to this store, East Eagles Designs and East Eagles Banners. If I want to create a new category, I would simply click on Create. I would name the category. If I want to create this as a subcategory, I can select the main category and it'll be underneath that. I can upload an image for my category and then when I'm ready to create the category, I'll simply click on Create Category. Once I've created the category, I can drag and drop it to reposition it amongst other categories. If I want to add the new category to the store, I need to select it, choose Show, and then click on Save. Any new designs that I've created will be viewable as uncategorized designs if I select Art in the Admin Portal. To assign a design to a store, I need to select the store, in this case East Eagles Boosters, and then I need to select the category. So I'm going to add this to the category East Eagles Designs. Make sure to click on Save in order to save the settings. To view the new designs, you can simply go into the designer for that particular store, click on Add Art, Browse Design Ideas, and select the category where you've added the art, and here's our new design. The customer can now go in and change the sport and modify the colors in the graphic. They can also add new product colors and save the design with a different color variation. If they want to proceed with a quote, they can click on Next Step, enter their quantities, and get a quote and check out. If you'd like to be notified every time a client saves a design in the store, go to Store Admin, select Store Settings, go to Store Notifications, and check Save Design Notifications. Under Store Settings, you can also make the store private so only the customer can access it. And if you go down to Checkout Settings, you can disable the Customer Payment option. This allows the customer to save a design, get a quote, proceed through the checkout, submit the order without a payment. The order will populate in your Order Manager so you can finalize the order and arrange payment. In the Inksoft Admin Portal, you can select Stores and you can view all of your abandoned carts for all of your stores, or you can filter for a specific store. Any design they save is available in their customer portal, so once they log in and go to My Account, they can click on My Designs. If the customer wants to further edit the design, they can click on Edit and Designer and create a variation of the design and save it. The customer can view the graphic on a new product, look at a new colorways, and get a quote without having to call you or email you. Once they create the design, you'll be notified so you can follow up with them. I can create a direct link to a specific design using the content block in the style editor. I'm going to log into my store as an admin, select My Account, select Designs. I'm then going to select the design and select Edit in Designer. I've enabled sharing for the designer in this specific store, so I'm going to click on Share. I'm going to copy the link, and then I'm going to click on Next Step. I'm going to use the screen grab tool in my operating system to grab a quick screen grab of this image and save it as a PNG file. I'm then going to return back to the style editor in the store. In the style editor, I've created a content block. I've then imported the PNG file into the content block. I set it to center alignment. And then instead of clicking on the image, what I'm going to do is deselect it and highlight it. Once I've highlighted it, I can click on insert link, copy and paste the sharing link into the URL field, put in any kind of text description I want, and then click on Done. If I go back to my storefront view, you can now see that the customer will be able to click on this image preview, go right directly to the design, make their changes, save it, and check out. Inksoft has always been a graphics-driven platform. The Inksoft designer gives you a critical set of tools that makes it easier for your customers to purchase from you and enables you to grow your business.